Hi everyone, today we take a look at a briefcase solar system that I started work on quite a long time ago. A charity contacted me and said they needed help with solar power. Um, they wanted to put together something that they can take out to remote areas when there's been a typhoon or other like emergency situation. So the idea is it's something that's portable and potentially could be taken onto an aeroplane for example, but also it could be shipped there by sea and then something like that. Um, anyway, I lost contact with the charity, can't get hold of them anymore so I don't know what's going on there, but I've still got the system now. At the moment, there's not really much to it in fact I've actually like skimmed it down a little bit there's two solar panels both of these are from CDR King and they're 50 watts each so you can see we've got two hinges here and this thing can be carried by one person that's the idea of it now I actually want to add a handle here or add straps like carrying straps but for now there's nothing like that and then on the other side we've got this lock here and you can put a padlock in there to lock this up because originally all of the electronics were going to be on the inside but now I've simplified it and I think it's actually better so anyway let's open this up and take a look so you can see it opens up like this and right now it's just got the original junction boxes and the silicone wires now I'm glad they used proper outdoor rated wire by the way sorry for the noise of the dog and stuff unfortunately I can't control that so originally it had a charge controller in here and it was going to be hooked up to a lead acid battery but now I've decided to take it in a different route so I also want to put a stand on here that pulls out and holds it at the correct angle but for now I just lay it on the ground and use this box to somewhat angle it towards the sun so let me just get this set up and then I'll move the camera so you can imagine if this had the built-in stand it would just sit like this and there you go portable 100 watt solar power but for now we'll just use this box to sit it on so we can get you know some kind of angle at least let me bring the camera closer and we can do some tests with this now like i said this originally had a charge controller inside and it was going to hook up to a lead acid battery but lead acid batteries are very heavy they can be hard to maintain in the long run especially if it's used by a charity who don't really know much about batteries or solar so what i'm thinking now is actually just to hook it straight up to these little in-car usb chargers because most of the time the stuff they're going to be charging is cell phones and small radios and other devices that can be charged by usb and these little in-car usb chargers are very forgiving of voltage especially if you get the 24 volt version which is designed for heavy vehicles these can really go anywhere from like 6 volts to over 20 volts depending on which model you get so they're very forgiving and that's ideal for connecting the solar power directly to these now of course one downside is that every time shade comes along you lose your power the other downside is you can only use power during the day you can't store it and use it at the night but like I said, for emergency situations when you're charging a community, cell phones and things like that so they can stay in contact with family or emergency responders, uh, radios and things like that, this is going to be fine. Sorry, there's some flies flying around my face. And what I've got here is a cigarette lighter. This is a double socket adapter that you use in your car, but I've cut off the end and put these two connectors so we can connect these solar panels directly. And I know you won't be able to see this on camera, but if we check the voltage, this is DC voltage. We're getting around 19 volts. Now I've seen these panels go up to around 21 volts when it's really direct hot sun on the panel. Um, at the moment it's kind of shaded. There's a lot of clouds over the sun, but this is probably still gonna be enough to get some power up because remember, we're dropping the voltage down to five volts. So even if these get shaded, we're still gonna get a usable power. So I plug in my USB car adapter. Now we could potentially connect quite a lot of these because this is a hundred watt of power and we're not losing any power on a charge controller or charging a battery. We're taking the power directly. So you could connect multiple of these and then charge many devices at once. So just for a very quick test, I've got this rechargeable USB fan, but I've taken the battery out. So we're gonna be running directly from USB power. So I'll plug in my micro USB cable, then connect it to the in-car USB charger, which we got connected to the solar panels. And even with this shade, I'm sure it will have no problems operating this. And there you go. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the camera, but you can probably hear it if I put it close to my microphone. That is spinning on its full speed. And this little adapter really doesn't have a problem with higher voltages. I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, they're designed for 12 volts, you're gonna break it. Well, they are designed for 12 volts, but the electrical system in your car can easily go up to 15 volts, 16 volts when the alternator is going. And they do have some tolerance for higher voltages. Now, of course, this will vary between different brands and different models, etc. But these things are pretty darn cheap. You can buy like a very generic one for maybe 100 pesos, 200 pesos, like a couple of US dollars. They're very cheap, easy to replace. You can get them anywhere. So that's where I'm really thinking about taking this is just go straight for these. Forget the lead acid battery because mostly what they're going to be charging is radio cell phones and other usb devices so this is really ideal they can put a handle on this carry it to like the middle of nowhere where they've just had like a big calamity they've got no electrical system because the poles have been knocked down etc and everyone in the community can just plug in their device and start charging 
Okay, it has to be during the day, but still, that's good enough, I think. So I know that was just a really quick video and it's super basic. We've literally just taken two solar panels, put little connectors on them, connected this cigarette lighter socket, and we're using these. But simple is good, especially if it's gonna be used by people who aren't, you know, very electrical minded. They don't know much about solar or electricals. You can go into any shop anywhere in the world and buy these things. So if they break, they're easy to replace. You know, there's other 12 volt stuff you could also run from this, like 12 volt fans. Again, they're gonna run a little bit faster because the higher the voltage, the faster the fan spins. But in an emergency situation, I think this is actually okay. Now you could potentially do it with a smaller solar panel like this. This one is just a four watt panel and it has an open circuit voltage of 10.5 volts. Now, like I mentioned earlier, these little in-car adapters will actually work with anything from six volts to much higher. So you could potentially do it like this, but it's definitely gonna be a lot harder because the voltage is much lower. So any shade is gonna cause a bigger issue. Plus, you know, these little adapters do consume a little bit of power, even if they're quite efficient because they're switch mode power supplies. So potentially you could do it with smaller panels like this, but it's gonna be more difficult. Now I know some of you might be thinking well they already sell solar panels with built-in USB ports semi flexible ones that you fold up they do but they're super expensive and when something goes wrong they're very hard to fix these are generic panels you can buy them at CDR King or other places it's much cheaper to DIY it and it's a lot easier to fix or replace later when something goes wrong and I'll tell you something this fan is very good right now because it is a hot day so if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe Thanks for watching.